Hey there, welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable love bug brownie bites. They're the perfect Valentine's Day treat for anyone who likes chocolate. Let's get into it. For this recipe, you will need to make the brownies, one cup of butter, one half cup of chocolate, either chips or your favorite Valentine's candy works great, two cups of white sugar, four eggs, two teaspoons vanilla, two thirds cup unsweetened cocoa powder, one cup of flour, one half teaspoon of salt, and one half teaspoon of baking powder. To decorate the love bugs, you will need a standard size, usually about 12 ounce package of red candy melts, chopped, one half cup heavy whipping cream, one cup chocolate chips or chopped baking chocolate, two tablespoons coconut oil, and a package of eyeball sprinkles. You will also need a piping bag, a wire cooling rack, either a cookie or a baking sheet, a mini cupcake mold pan, and wax paper. These love bugs are the perfect size to give out in the office, at school, or at a party. Let's get started. First, we make the brownies. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a bowl, mix everything together except for the butter and chocolate. You don't need to make the mixture completely homogenous, and the order of addition does not actually matter in this case, but do mix the eggs in until you cannot see any egg anymore. We're making brownies, not scrambled eggs. Put your butter and chocolate together in a microwave safe bowl and microwave in 30 second intervals until everything is melted. Make sure the chocolate doesn't season burn by stirring every minute or so. When you can take the chocolate butter out of the microwave and stir it into one chocolatey liquid, it's ready to pour over and mix into your brownie batter. If you didn't mix your eggs enough, now is when you'll have little dollops of cooked eggs in the batter. Remember to mix those eggs very well before adding that butter. Bake in your 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 25 minutes. Allow to cool for about 10 minutes and then pop them in the freezer for at least 15 minutes until they're firm. And then you're ready to decorate. To decorate, you're first going to set up by placing a wire cooling sheet above a cookie sheet or a baking pan. That way you can catch the candy drippings. I also put a silicon mat on the baking pan for easy cleanup. Put your brownie bites upside down on top of the cooling sheet. Now they're a perfect shape to become ladybugs. If you feel like molding the edges to make them more round, go ahead and squish them into place now. They'll look just fine either way. It all comes down to personal preference. First, we need to add red. Get your chopped candy melts ready and microwave your one half cup of heavy cream for about 45 seconds. It should be nearly boiling or only barely at a boil. You don't want a rolling boil here. Stir in your candy melts and keep stirring until you have a red ganache. Wait until the ganache is starting to thicken, then pour it over the top of your love bugs. Once they're all red, allow to cool for at least 20 minutes. We're gonna need to give our bugs faces and antenna. To do that, we'll be piping molten chocolate. Mix together your one cup of chocolate chips or your chopped up baking chocolate with two tablespoons of coconut oil and microwave in 30 minute increments, stirring each time until the mixture is melted. Pour it into your piping bag and pipe a head and wings onto each brownie by making a T shape and filling in above the T. Add a few dots on each side for ladybug spots. Place the eyeball sprinkles. This part was too tricky to film by myself, but here's how I made the antenna. 
I piped curly designs onto wax paper, transferred it to the freezer to harden, peeled it off the wax paper and broke them to the size that I wanted, and squished them onto the love bug's heads just behind their eyes. You have to work fast though, so the heat from your hands doesn't melt the antenna. Let them cool overnight, and you've got yourself a swarm of love bug brownie bites. If you like this recipe and want to see more like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, y'all know it's free. I also have some other free recipes right here and over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Oh,